Hey guys, Jarek here, and welcome to my accuracy test of the Wind Gun 1895 Nagant Revolver. When I chronoed this gun with a full 12 gram CO2 capsule and 0.2 gram BBs, the first few shots shot over 500 feet per second, and the average seemed to be around 450 to 470 feet per second. Needless to say, that's really, really hot. Ultimately, this feet per second means that no matter what field you play on, whether it's indoor or outdoor, you're not going to be able to use this gun. It shoots way too hot and exceeds any FPS limits at any field I know of. On the plus side, this gun is very, very loud. Even the camera makes this gun seem loud, and it doesn't do it justice. In person, this thing will leave your ears ringing if you're not the one shooting it. Just as a reminder, anything within this red square is going to be considered a hit. This square is still very small, and is smaller than your average human torso. Given the feet per second of this gun, we know that it has the velocity to have a lot of range. So I skipped the 50 and 100 foot accuracy tests, and immediately went back to 150 feet. With all of that said, the densest BB I had was 0.28 gram, which is not heavy enough for this gun. I would highly recommend BBs along the lines of 0.40s instead of 0.28s. While using .28s, you're going to see the BBs kind of dart in random directions, meaning they're just simply too light for this gun. Even so, at 150 feet, with BBs that are much too light for the gun, I'm easily able to hit the target with plenty of range to spare. I'd be so bold to say that this gun could probably reach out an extra 100 feet. Whether this gun is going to be accurate at that range, I have no idea. And unfortunately, I can't do a proper accuracy test, but this should give you some sort of vague idea of how far this gun can shoot. Final conclusion of this accuracy test. This gun has great range, and possibly great accuracy with the correct gram BB, but unfortunately, its feet per second limits its uses heavily. It shoots way too hot to take into any woodland field or any CQB facility. This gun is a great novelty item, or possibly a great gun to use for reenactors, unless you're going to a reenactment game, which then you still can't use it. All in all, this is a great novelty item that performs just as good as it looks. If you really, really need that Nagant revolver, have no hesitations with buying this gun, it won't disappoint you. That about sums up my accuracy test of the Wind Gun 1895 Nagant Revolver. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.
Jack, you, you should not be able to. You're what? I think I'm not doing so well. Almost at home. Really <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> <laughs>